but something just shifted. Um, I'm not sure exactly what, but something changed um, the second time over. Um, I think there was a side of me that realized that I'd, I'd been given a, a, a very, very rare third chance. Um, but, but I would also like to think that I kind of encountered God that second time. Um, anyway, something changed. I did my AA program relentlessly, man. Um, I worked the program absolutely. There was a decision I made while I was there. When I was in rehab the second time, I decided that um, I didn't want medication in my life. And I consulted with the attending psychiatrist. Then I told the guy, I want off this medication. Um, he was very against it, but I insisted. I'm like, this is the safest place for me to get off this medication and I want to get this off medication. So we came up with a program to win it off over time. And we began. It was crazy because, um, you know, some of that medication is highly addictive, like the mood stabilizers, man. Uh, that, that was painful, man. Uh, but I had decided that by the time it was time to go home again, I was going to be dependent on nothing um, but breathing. So I think that, that, that time it was a bit shorter. I think I was there for about three months, about, about, about 90 days or just like more. You know. Um, I, I, I read a book I read a book while I was there that I think began a massive change in my life yeah. uh, it's, it's by um, a guy called Eckhart Tolle um, and I, I think the guy just he spoke about God in a way that I've never heard him spoken about um, it was interesting, it was exciting to me, and I, I couldn't stop reading the book, and um, that's when the shift happened. So anyways, 90 days later, went home, um, kept working the program. Dude, believe it or not, by the time I got home, I was no longer in medication for the first time in I think like a year. Um, I was off this medication, I was sleeping organically, like I would go to bed at night and fall asleep, because I had serious insomnia. Um, and so it began. I, again, I didn't know what to do with my life um, immediately after that, but, you know, it didn't even seem to matter. Um, I, I, I was just excited to, to be clean this time, which is something that was um, significantly different from the first time. I was, I was excited to be so, I was excited to be clean. Um, I was spending more time just reading and I was hungry for information because I'd run into this, um, this way of thinking that just agreed with me. And I kept pursuing that, you know, I just kept digging for that information. Um, and dude, I, I, I honestly don't know. Um, it's quite literally, I guess it's a day at a time. Um, I look behind me now, I'm going to be celebrating three years of sobriety um, in August. Um, and I, I, I look back, I, I can't exactly tell you that this is a formula that worked for me. I just see a lot of miracles behind me. Um, I see moments, just moments when it's grace, it's grace that carried me through. Um, but I think it's, it's, it's this whole commitment to, to this new way of thinking, this new thought, this new commitment to my well-being and to... Um, I actually made a decision that I was not going to give up on myself before I knew what potential I truly held. I remember having that thought. I decided, you know what? Everyone, since I was a child, kept telling me about all this potential that I have. And I always felt it inside me. Um, and I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna give up. I wanna see it. Is it true or is it just something that people kept telling me through my life because it was the nice thing to say. Um, and I decided to push, I decided to push back. 
um, I decided to um, just build again from the ground up. Um, and I, I'm, I'm nowhere near there, <laughs> but I'm definitely not where I started. Um, but life has changed a lot since, since I left rehab the second time.